Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofani Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. Um, we really hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Motivate me by giving me something to react to. Just anything. Pick from your mind something that you love watching. Whatever it is, you know. And suggest it down below just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out find us on facebook and instagram as fanny and jesse say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel i'm hoping we can vlog at least for vlogmas or maybe 10 to 12 days of christmas maybe we'll see we're yet to discuss that and yeah, let me know what you guys actually think. Head to our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and um, enjoy the content that we'll be putting out. So today, I'm going to be reacting to LGBT Qatar and Islam brilliantly explained by non-Muslim. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I came across a video on TikTok uh, recently, which has really impressed a lot of people, especially Muslims. Uh, you get this guy who's a non-Muslim and giving us, telling the world the real reason behind why Qatar is having so much trouble accepting LGBT people. And that's precisely the wording this guy, Dennis Fang, uses uh, on TikTok, as I say. I just want to share this video, it's quite short, a couple of minutes long, and it's one of the best uh, videos I've ever come across by a non-Muslim uh, explaining the Islamic perspective on LGBT and gender and why Qatar, as he puts it, is having so much trouble uh, from the West, which accepts a very different set of values based on secular liberalism. And of course, the West is seeking to impose this culturally and economically on the rest of the world. And Qatar, obviously as a Muslim country, is resisting this. And the West doesn't understand why. It doesn't want to hear the reasons why. And Dennis Fang, to his credit, he sounds like a, an English educated public school guy, actually. I think he lives uh, in Australia, uh, but gives a, a superb set of insightful reasons why Muslims uh, do not accept this uh, agenda. And why, actually, we cannot accept this agenda. It's not a question of stubbornness or not wanting to go along with the Western values that God has given us certain parameters and guidelines and rules uh, by which to live our lives. And they are non-negotiable. They are set down by our Creator. Um, anyway, I'll, I just want to share this video. I'll share it with you its entirety um, and I'll link to uh, the TikTok um, uh, link below. And you can read the comments uh, left by uh, Muslims, which are uh, very uh, appreciative of a non-Muslim's understanding, which I think is quite rare in my experience to find a non-Muslim to really get it. Anyway, enjoy. Why is Qatar struggling so much with LGBT people? Is it a simple bigotry? Can't they be more open-minded and be more accepting of all self-identities? Well, it's because of the moral framework of Islam and LGBT that are diametrically opposed. You see, LGBT is a result of Western individual liberalism. It's built fundamentally upon the revolutionary idea that one has sovereignty over their own bodies. You are free to do whatever you want with it. As a result, the idea of goodness is a utilitarian one where fostering one's own pleasure and limiting the undermining of other people's pleasure is the ultimate virtue. And because morality is subjective, one's own feelings inside are of the other most importance. Hence we have people identifying with their own feelings and bodily urges. Hence I feel like a female, therefore I am a female. I am attracted to men, therefore I identify as a homosexual. In Islam on the other hand, one doesn't have sovereignty over their own bodies, for humans were created deliberately by God to fulfill a noble and spiritual purpose. And that purpose is in serving God who is the ultimate form of good. In this moral frame 
framework, in this paradigm, a law created the male and the female with reproductive and social roles, and thus fulfilling those purposes is honouring God. There is no concept of my body, my choice, for the choice has already been made. It was destined for you. It is, for example, only in a heterosexual marriage where gender uh, differences are enforced, where men are more dominant and women have ideals of beauty and gentility, that we see a metaphysical wholeness in marriage. Sex outside those purposes loses all meaning and legitimacy. For remember, the purpose of sex isn't individualistic pleasure, but to fulfil a higher and transcendent good. I hope you can see that Qatar can't simply make a few small amendments to their laws and wave a rainbow flag and accept homosexuality and trans people because their whole teleology of humanity in general is diametrically opposed to what we're familiar with in the Western world. And all the individualistic liberalism has become the de facto lingua franca of morality. We do need to understand the difficulty or even the futility of, well, colonizing foreign people with our ideas of morality. We might think that we're right and they're wrong, but remember, they are thinking the exact same thing. Thanks for watching. Very interesting perspective. Um... I don't think Qatar should please the West or anyone in the world by adjusting their laws, you know, to make them feel comfortable. Um, what I love about these, should I say Islamic states, is the fact that they are not willing to bend because it's, um, anyone you're considering, be it a superpower or a country with... Um, Part than them is saying this they should adjust to that no 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 no. i love that for these islamic countries you know and um it's very i feel like it's sad that we feel like we should impose our cultures on other people why can't we lend our culture instead i've been sitting thinking since yesterday we were reacting to something if this were Muslims enforcing their culture on um, other westernized, not even westernized countries, western countries, you know, these top western countries, it would lead to war, it would lead to sanctions, it would lead to all this insanity because Muslim wa Muslims want to spread their cultural ideology, you know, but then here we are, day in, day out, we're trying to discuss why the LGBT is not allowed in Qatar. Um, kudos to Qatar, don't allow something that goes against what you've believed in for a lot of years. Let the Western culture be Western culture. Let the culture in the Middle East be the culture in the Middle East, African culture you know don't mix up things at the end of the day I, I feel like god created us for a, different for a reason we should cele celebrate our own culture we shouldn't have to throw it away and come up with a culture that's I, I don't even know what to say or think but really this guy has put it in such a good manner that um he's He's actually taken a diplomatic way of explaining things. I feel like, um, anyway, let me know what you guys actually think. What are your thoughts concerning what Denise, his name is there, what Denise said and how he explained it. And I appreciate people that actually understand that I shouldn't have to change my culture for someone else and I shouldn't have to enforce my culture on someone else for me to be happy, you know. Let me know your thoughts down below. If there's anything you want me to react to, comment the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. And if I haven't reacted to what you've suggested, it's because I really can't find the actual video of what you suggested. So just give me the exact name to whatever video you want me to react to. Or just take your time out, get me that link and post it down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to check out everything that you guys suggest. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.